Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So this year, as we all know, was the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And, you know, there was a big splash, a big spectacle when Star Wars had its 40th anniversary just, gosh, is it really six years ago? <laughs> no, time flies. Oh my goodness. And Empire, like, yeah, I think, you know, Empire comparatively, like, they didn't make as big deal about it as they did for Star Wars. And I guess, you know, it makes sense. And it feels like it was the same way with Return of the Jedi. I mean, I will say that one of the highlights of my year this year was the re-release of Return of the Jedi, the 40th anniversary re-release. And I was able to go see it in a theater, not only with my sons, but with my nephews as well. And that was the first time that they'd ever seen Return of the Jedi on the big screen. And so it ended up being a really special experience. My sons had already seen it on the big big screen, but in all honesty, I wouldn't be surprised if they had been asleep for it, because when they got to see it on the big screen, it was during that marathon, if you remember, way back in 2015, when everybody was all hyped for The Force Awakens, and some theaters had the marathon situation, where they started at midnight with The Phantom Menace, and they ran through all six movies until they got to The Force Awakens, and my... <laughs> kids at the time were just like like they were out of it and I mean I'll be honest I even was dozing during a couple of parts of A New Hope but at that point it was a long day Anyway, I feel like I wanted a little bit more out of the celebration this year, although there were opportunities to get more out of it. However, they were kind of limited in a sense. Like, for example, you know, there were some things that happened at Star Wars Celebration Europe, but, you know, you had to be at Star Wars Celebration Europe for something like that. Um, there's stuff, you know, celebrating it in Star Wars Insider Magazine. You had to be a subscriber to that. I feel like there was nothing, like, really genuinely public like there wasn't any real big splashy moment other than that you know week long-ish re-release in theaters I remember in the lead up to the announcement about the 40th anniversary short story collection that um, Tom Holler from Random House Worlds was saying, yeah, people are asking me about this and they still hadn't announced it yet. And so I, you know, I can't tell you anything about the future, but I would refer you to Shmi Skywalker's quote, what does your heart tell you? And of course, <laughs> the obvious answer is, yeah, they did it for Star Wars and Empire. Why wouldn't they do it for this? I will say that has been another highlight of the anniversary year for me is going through these stories with you and getting the additional perspective on Return of the Jedi. It really has overall kind of enlivened the experience of Return of the Jedi for me, particularly with characters from other stories that got to make appearances in there, like, say, Nora Wexley from the Aftermath novels, for example, or <laughs> references to things that have become part of our fan experience, like how the Ewoks have been... <laughs> sort of reimagined over the years as these terrifying murder bears. And getting to dig into the plan, the plan to rescue Han from Jabba's palace, getting to go on Podcast Stardust earlier this year and talk about that segment of the movie and all the research that I did leading into it, like that was just so utterly fascinating and I had a great time talking with Jay and Dennis on there as well. And even just the little reminders that you, you know, kind of stumble across or that just sort of happen to you unexpectedly, like in particular for me, seeing the ghost force ghost, I'm sorry, seeing, excuse me, the force ghost of Anakin Skywalker in the form of Hayden Christensen at the end of the Ahsoka series, like immediately threw me back in my head to the scene at the end of Return of the Jedi in the special edition version, obviously, of course, which was one of the things that I didn't mention when we were talking about the Brotherhood short story, that Anakin was actually surprised to appear in the robes that he appeared in because they were traditional classic Jedi robes, not the kind of darker ones that he wore in Attack of the Clones or Revenge of the Sith. Like, the fact that Mike Chen even bothered to mention to say something about that particular fact I thought was pretty amazing. Ultimately, with all of the Return of the Jedi-related experiences that I did get to have this year, I will say that my appreciation for the movie has actually grown. And I guess, ultimately, that's 
just a really awesome benefit of being able to celebrate the anniversary. And I hope you've had the opportunity to celebrate the anniversary for yourself in some fashion that's been relevant or meaningful and that it has awakened extra feelings of nostalgia or appreciation for you. In fact, I'd love to hear about that if that's the case. So if you're catching an audio version, head over to sw7x7.com and leave a comment on the blog post for this episode of the podcast. And if you're catching the video version on YouTube, well, comments are right there. I'd love to hear it and chat with you about it. So that is going to do it for this episode of the show. And as I said, those comments, like those also actually help other people find the show. So if you are inspired to do that, if you think the show is worth helping other people find it, then I hope you'll consider leaving comments, leaving ratings and reviews on your favorite app, or even sharing it with other Star Wars fans that you know. And so it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the podcast as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.